So uh, 30 minutes after we uh, arrived at the campsite, a couple young ladies approached us from the Forest Service. And they were just greeting us and welcome, welcoming us to the area. And uh, told us that we could have a campfire, which was nice. And we, we chatted for a few minutes about the area. And then right before they were going to leave, I asked them, have you guys seen or heard any Bigfoots up in this area? And they both started laughing. But uh, the one that's obviously in charge turned back and told me, you know, she's heard stories up around the Kettle Falls area. And I'd probably have better luck up there. But she didn't go into any more details and uh, they just smiled and walked off. So, even the forest service up here has uh, heard stories. So, I thought that was kind of cool. Just wanted to share that. What do you think that is? The falls of the foot, It looks like a shoe print. It looks a bit too small to be a, a footprint. No, not really. Or a, a big footprint. That's what I'm trying to say. All I can think of is maybe a rock was in there. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, they might, probably took a rock from there and put it in the campfire. Maybe. So just up from our camp here, there's this old, uh, looks like an old road at one point. If anything came down, it'd be a nice observation point to watch somebody's camp. But we found this one impression. Now, my uh, first guess would have been there was a rock um, removed here, but I do not see any large rocks misplaced around here that even have that shape. And I don't see any wood either. But um, let's just hypothetically say this is a track. We're looking at about 14, I'd say a good 14 inch impression here. And uh, it's about, I'd say about five and a half inches wide. And at least an inch and a half deep. Now, I'm not, for certain, but there could be some digits there, but hard to say. I do have some plaster mix. I might just cast it. Um, when in doubt, I'll always cast a track. So we're going to cast this impression here and uh, see what kind of details come out of it. Yep. So. I had, to, I had to mutilate one of my water bottles because I forgot a mixing bowl, so <laughs> see how this works. Fourteen years. I'll be in the tent if you need me. Doing this before you were born. So 
So how are you gonna like put that, make that go through the whole thing? Get a stick and do this, like brush it out. You know, Just brush it out. So the impression's cast, so now we just have to uh, basically let it dry, and uh, it's already setting up, so within a hour or two I'll come back up and um, pull it out, see what we got. Now, picture this. What? All right. It's an old road, right? Yeah. So, let's say somebody else was camping here, and a Bigfoot came down that road and stepped right there, and he could watch anyone camping down here at night. And nobody would know it. Yeah. Or, maybe, since you, like you said, it's an old road. Maybe the person that was camping here before went up there, and then maybe something happened. Maybe. And then that footprint might have been the only thing left of them. <laughs> maybe. But your idea, your thing, sounds a bit more realistic. So we are camping up here in Sand Canyon, just outside of Chewila, Washington. And we're only out here for one day, but the last few days, there's been uh, a few reports of vocalizations. So I have deployed two digital recorders out. So hopefully we will capture something tonight. We've already heard one vocalization of a, of a howl type going in the direction of uh, Phillips Lake. So hopefully tonight we'll, we'll hear something and be able to capture it. We might have an adventure tonight. We might have an adventure tonight. This is Ezra, my grandson. Hey. We're, out here, we're out here for one day and uh, just exploring and having a good time. Hopefully we don't die. Hopefully we don't die. We'll see um, when we get attacked by a big Bigfoot. Let's hope we don't get attacked by a Bigfoot. Unless I'm filming. If we're filming, then yes, we do want to see a Bigfoot. Yeah. If and we're not filming, then... Damn, it'd still be cool to see a Bigfoot. Yeah, it would. You know, they say, you know, children attract Bigfoots. Now. I like this job. That's my grandpa. <laughs> and he's the best ever. <laughs> 